Okay, let's go over and talk about my favorite workouts for the half marathon. Workouts that I've used with a lot of folks over the last two decades as a coach. Okay, this is Coach Jason here. Hope you're doing well from Top of Line Running. And um, I, want to, I want to get into this because this is, a, this is another distance where the ability to add more volume over time and recover well is so much more important than some of the other events. It's a, it's, a, it's a large jump from the 10K, an even larger jump from the 5K, but it's a stepping stone to the marathon as well. So there's a lot of similarities between marathon training and half marathon training. And the next the next video we're going to do is my favorite workouts for the marathon that I've used for athletes as well. So if you're not subbed to this channel, make sure you sub to the channel if you're a coach or an athlete. That way you don't miss anything. Okay, and like I always say, you'll know when I go live, hit the notifications when you subscribe too. That way when new videos come out, you'll know it. And blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com is my email address. Blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com. Okay. I answer almost a dozen emails a day about different types of things, whether it be half mile training, 5K training, all different types of stuff. Okay. Give uh, you know individualized training plans out for folks. I'm doing training seminars now that people can register for. And um, I also advise coaches as well. So if, if any of that is of interest to you that you need, don't hesitate to reach out to me, okay? I want to help you put the pieces of the puzzle together. I want you to become a better coach. I want you to know more information. And when you have access to an experienced coach and a former competitive runner, it's a good idea to take advantage of it. You know, it's it's, it's very hard, and I, and, and I say this with all due respect to the world's class coaches, we can't just call them anytime we want and expect them to pick up the phone call and have regular dialogue with them. As much as I'd like that, it's just a very hard thing to do. That's why I'm offering myself uh, to be of service to you. So I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, with that said, as always, a good warm-up, drills and strides, transitional pace. And again, for this type of stuff, if you're doing a mar half marathon pace, transitional pace would be two to three times a 200, okay, with a 200-meter jog recovery. At the goal pace, you're looking to run for the workout. So you can find the pace during this transition instead of having to use the workout to find the pace. You find it beforehand. That puts you in a position to maximize the volume of the race that you're looking to run at the pace you're looking to run at, period. Okay? Just something to keep in mind. It's up to you as a coach to decide whether you want to incorporate that. Well, it's up to you as an athlete to decide whether you want to incorporate that. But I highly encourage folks to consider it. It is extremely helpful. It puts you in a position to be a step ahead, sometimes two steps ahead. Okay? With that said, let's get to some workouts. Okay? This is a good mid-season workout when things start to get a little bit more aggressive, even early season too. Two sets of 3K, 2K, 1K. So if you do these 300, if you do these 200s, you could do the first one at 3K pace or the first two at 3K pace. And if you if you find the pace, then you can do your second one or your third one at 2K pace and 1K pace. That way you just you get progressively faster in the transition, which helps you get progressively faster in the workout, which is the goal here. So it's 3K at half marathon pace. You take a four-minute recovery. Then 2K. At 10K pace, take a three minute recovery. And then your 1K rep is at 5K pace. Take a five to six minute recovery, all active. And then you repeat the set again. And again, if you add it up, that's 12K worth of running. Okay, at half marathon pace or faster. So that's good volume. Then you can transition at that point towards five miles at half marathon pace. Your goal half marathon. So if your goal is eight minutes per mile, you run at eight minutes. If your goal is seven, you run at seven and so on. And again, these workouts, the two to the two to three times two hundreds are appropriate too to the transition. So if you're looking to run in eight minutes, you're running the two hundreds and fifty nine sixty. You're looking to run this in six minutes pace per mile, and then you're running the two hundreds and forty five, forty four to forty five, and so on. Okay, helps you find that pace. So five miles and a half marathon pace. You take a four minute active recovery, and then on the back end, you run a one k rep at ten k pace, just to practice accelerating from a little bit further out. But it also puts you in a position to finish strong when you're fatigued. Okay, and the volume, you know, building up over time. You won't be doing 13 miles in a workout at half marathon pace. That is a very difficult proposition to achieve. But with that said, you can progress from these two to these two. Then you can run five to five times 1.5 miles. You take a two minute, 30 second recovery at your goal half marathon pace. So if it's seven minutes per mile, you're running them at seven minutes per mile and so on. Okay. And then at that point, you can progress to seven miles at half marathon pace, up, or up from five. You have the workout in between to help you get to that point. Seven at half marathon pace, take a four minute after recovery, and then you run a, a, a hard 800 meter rep on the back end at 10K pace. Okay. So it's seven and a half miles worth of volume here on both of these workouts. And again, these workouts you could do a couple of uh, weeks apart from each other. 
Okay, you can com combine it with long runs and fartleks and tempos and speed development and so on. Where you put these things is important. If you're running a hilly half marathon, you might want to simulate some of these workouts over a hilly course to help you run, have a similar uh, situation, a similar pattern for the race. If it's on a flat, then you can lock into this stuff on a flat as well. Okay, and the fact, again, flat makes it easier to lock into a goal pace. If you're looking to run a goal pace, looking to get a qualifier for something, rolling is a little bit tougher. Okay, the pace fluctuation because of the rolling situation is is important it exists it must be you know taken into consideration so but these are the four workouts that i've used with a lot of success with a lot of folks and that last one that simulation one, you can do that maybe about three weeks out two weeks out from your half marathon to see how ready you are and any changes you might need to make in your training at that point so let me know what your thoughts are okay um if you have any workouts of your own put them in the comments you know again when i go live talk about this stuff Hop in with your questions too, your feedback. Okay. I'm going to do my half, my favorite workouts for the marathon next. And then we're going to do milestone workouts. So I'm going to start all the way from sub two minute 800 to sub five minute mile and milestones for the 800, several of them in the mile. And then we're going to do 3K, two mile. We're going to do 5K, 10K, half marathon, and marathon. So, boatload of content coming up in the next couple of weeks. I do not want you to miss any of it. So, you know what to do if you don't want to. Have a great season. Okay, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next time.